Hey there, folks. Today I'm bringing you a Challenge Cup for Wi-Fi battle against Wild Chase. Uh, thank you so much, Wild, for taking pity on me. I, for those of you who didn't know, I've been looking for someone to battle in Challenge Cup for Wi-Fi for like two weeks. Couldn't find anyone, and with the Wi-Fi Battle Finder down, the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder down, uh, you know, my odds of finding someone were slim to none, but, uh, Wild took pity on me, and so he was my opponent. Uh, Wi-Fi Battle Finder, by the way, I'm in the process of trying to take it over, uh, not really sure what happened to take it down, but I do know that Hurricane Sandy is what brought it back because it took it off the server, and when they uh, turned the server back on, everything was magically working again. Um, but, and by the server, I mean all of Smogon.com. So anyway, he leads off with Ponyard. My first Pokemon is Meloetta. Um, my Meloetta doesn't really have a good move set for taking on this Ponyard. The only move that I have that would really hit it for any appreciable amount of damage um, would be, well, actually, no, I have no move that would hit for any appreciable amount of damage, plus I have this Mindfu, and so he, it, it turns out, didn't have anything to hit me with, so, um, as I go for, so all you can do is go for the Toxic, Mindfu actually has Regenerator, I was lucky enough to get a Regenerator Mindfu, uh, I'm gonna go for the Drain Punch, he predicts that, sends out Quillfish, sucks so bad that he has that Quillfish, um, but, yeah, uh, really can't do very much. Gonna switch out. I did get a crit, and so Quillfish's health is down fairly low. I go ahead and send out Chin Chow, thinking that I might be able to bluff him out, thinking that he, he might think that I uh, have an Electric-type move. I don't have an Electric-type move. I go over the Flash just to try to lower the accuracy of whoever he switches in, but he actually uh, calls my bluff, goes for a second round of Toxic Spikes, and that's no good. So my only... Uh, Surf is my best attacking move. I think I have Takedown as well. Um, oh yeah, I get a crit, so two nice crits for me. Now he goes for the Destiny bot, I'm like, that's not good. <clears throat> so I'm glad that I wasn't able to take him out with the super effective electric type moves. So here I go for another flash, just basically trying to PP stall him down. Uh, he goes for a double edge and misses, which is funny. Uh, now he's gonna switch out, go out into Shiftry. Um, I think I just, oh, I go for the takedown, hoping to take him out. Uh, still does a decent chunk to shift I'm wondering whether he actually has a grass type move or whether he's bluffing but I don't want to take that risk that he's not bluffing so I'm gonna go out here into Golbat who is probably the most useful Pokemon on my team uh, 4x resists uh, 4x resists fighting 4x resists grass and based on his team that's kinda nice so he switches out into Electivire and here I go over the supersonic get his Electivire confused and so here I'm like, okay, I'm not going to want to stay in against the electric type move. Turns out he didn't have any electric type moves, but, you know, how was I to know at the time? I go out into Mindfu again knowing that if I, I can just, first of all, I'm already toxic, so that's good. Um, second of all, you know, I can just regenerate off any damage that I incur. Here, that, this was stupid, I should not have gone for the fake out, I should have gone for the drain punch because, um, fake out is good for stalling out your opponent, but when you're the toxic Pokemon, it's not going to help you out. Plus, he's confused, and I really should be giving him more of an opportunity to hit himself in the confusion. Here, I'm going to go for the Drain Punch, get my health uh, back up a little bit, and do a massive, massive amount of damage. And here we see, is Electivire ever going to break through the confusion? Uh, yes or no? Here's the moment of truth. He hits himself in the confusion, and uh, that's a worthless Electivire. Unfortunately, he doesn't take himself out, which would have been nice for me, but I am able to take him out on the next hit with a Drain Punch that's really going to not benefit me too much because not going to recover much health and my health is going to go down with all that poison. So now that's going to come Meloetta. up. Um, he might have a po uh, psychic type move. I'm hoping he doesn't. I really shouldn't have gone out into Golbat if I were predicting a psychic type move. Here he goes for the return. Does not that much. I go, uh, Golbat goes for Shadow Ball. I forgot uh, about the normal typing, I guess. I don't know. I was just being stupid. Uh, so here I really, really should be I was like, why do you go for Psych Up? That's a useless move. Uh, I really, really should be saving Golbat for later. I go for another Supersonic. It hits! And I get his Meloetto confused. So that's great. And really now is the time for me to draw back Golbat. Um, but unfortunately, he's going to go for the... My opponent's going to go for the last resort and almost take out Golbat. Golbat's going to go for the facade just to get some damage off on Meloetta. Meloetta slaps, snaps out of the confusion, goes for return. Uh, and that is going to be a dead Golbat. So I wasted probably the most useful Pokemon on my team. Stupid of me. I go out into Marie Pierre. Uh, my opponent can go for the last resorts, resorts all he wants. And that is going to not take out Marie. Uh, but I only survive on one. I go for the Charge Beam. Oh, by the way, folks, um, if you do play Challenge Cup for Wi-Fi, first of all, challenge me because I could really use an opponent. But also, you should uh, go on to... Uh, you should click the download links 
uh, and download the new version. Uh, there's just a few minor fixes, just how they do with move sets. Like I think if you get a, if you were to get a Smeargle, it would have a really screwed up move set. Also, um, Curum Black and White would be screwed up. Anyway, Anerith versus Ponyard. Um, you know, I don't think he has an, the Iron Head uh, or any other kind of moves like that. So I'm just hoping I can resist. Well, actually, okay. So here I'm going to go ahead and switch out into Mind Fruit. He's going to go for Shadow Claw, um, and that's going to do a chunk. Uh, a pretty big chunk. And now I'm just hoping that he stays in, but he's not going to stay in. Why would you stay in? He's going to go out into Quillfish. Quillfish is going to get off the Intimidate. And thanks to that Intimidate, Drain Punch is... Well, I mean, thanks to the Intimidate and the Resist, uh, Drain Punch is not going to KO. Um, and I'm hoping that I can KO his Quillfish with one more hit, but it's not clear. Plus, he goes for the Destiny Bond, and I'm like, no, no, not my Mind Foo! So now I've sacked foolishly two of my most important Pokemon. Um, I was actually a little bit, I was actually more than a little surprised that he outsped to go for that Destiny Bond, considering I'm level 83, he's level 77. Quillfish isn't known for being particularly speedy, but, you know, I'll look up the speed stats and see how that, whether that makes sense. But so yeah, Shiftry, I've lost two Pokemon that would have excellently countered Shiftry. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch Anorith out here, uh, not really gonna, I'm sending out Chen Chao here for Death Fodder. Um, He's going to go for the Seed Bomb. I didn't want my Anorith to take that hit. And I just want the free switch into someone else. So Chin Chao's health is going to go down, down, down. I go for the Flash, so maybe his one of his attacks will miss against the next Pokemon I bring out. Um, but yeah, this isn't looking good. So Shifter's going to go for the Seed Bomb. Chin Chao is going to get taken out. And I think I have two Pokemon left. I go out into Meloetta. So here I have the Acrobatics. So I'm thinking... Hit him with the acrobatics, you know, I might be able to do a decent chunk. Unfortunately, he goes out into Ponyard. Um, Ponyard's going to be able to take that and laugh. Um, so, yeah. Sniffle, sniffle. Um, going to call Mellow at a back. Going to go out into Anorith. Just thinking, well, it's it's rock type, so hopefully I can um, sponge any normal type moves that he's got. So I go for Facade here. I am poisoned, so that does do a metric ton of damage. And that's nice. So now he's going to go for the Swagger, and so this is kind of a double down moment because I could potentially sweep with this Anorith if I just don't hit myself in Confusion. <clears throat> so I'm like, please don't hit yourself in Confusion, please don't hit yourself in Confusion. He withdraws Ponyard, knowing that Ponyard's going to be a great Pokemon to save and reserve. I hit myself in Confusion, uh, and look at how much damage I do to myself. Man, that sucks. So his Kecleon is Black Sludge, so it's on a timer. It's going to be taking a little bit of damage each turn. Um, kind of useful. I hit myself in the Confusion again, so it's Electivire Payback. And Earth takes itself out. Uh, Kecleon goes for Thunderbolt. It fails. Whatevs. Whatevs. Um, so now I'm going to go out into Meloetta. And I have a strategy here. Because my best move to hit him is Shadow Ball. But I can't do that while I can't use Shadow Ball on Wally's normal type. But, if I use a flying type move first, he gets the color change, also loses the uh, his normal type stab, which is also nice. And so now I'm thinking, go for the Shadow Ball, it should do a metric ton. Um, because Meloetta's special attack is much higher than its attack, assuming it's in its whatever form. I get another crit, and a defense drop, a uh, special defense drop, that's nice. So here's the, but I, I mean that crit didn't really matter, because uh, the next turn it would have been super effective. Um, Kecleon takes himself out with Black Sludge, and that, as they say, is that. Um, now it's going to come Shiftry. I, if I outspeed, I can do some damage with Acrobatics, so go for the Acrobatics. I'm like, come on, please, please, please KO. And it doesn't KO because my attack is worthless. So now I'm going to get taken out by a Seed Bomb. Well, taken out by a Seed Bomb plus Poison. And that is going to be the end of the battle. So great game, while uh, Sorry I played like such a freaking noob. I really need to practice CC uh, Challenge Cup before I have my CC4 Wi-Fi battles. Just look at our teams, by the way. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.